Books can be located in Fenwick Library by looking at the first letter of the call numbers and referring to the map of the library. Circulating books are located on the upper floors. Larry looks for the books he wants by using the call numbers provided by Ex Libris. Stack guides are posted on the end of each row showing the range of books on those shelves. The Library of Congress, or LC classification system, divides knowledge into 20 broad subject categories and assigns a letter of the alphabet to each category. For example, books dealing with politics have a unique call number beginning with the letter J. These numbers determine where the book is shelved. After finding his books, Larry returns to the reference room. He knows that one of the books his professor recommended is not in Fenwick Library because it did not show up on Ex Libris. Larry asks the librarian how to locate that book and is able to find the location of the book in another library by using the OCLC terminal. The OCLC terminal is available for public use in the reference room. Larry then asks the librarian for assistance in locating periodical articles for his paper. After suggesting that Larry use one of the library's many indexes, the librarian shows Larry how to look up his topic in the communication index. A little later, Larry uses one of the computerized indexes to look up even more articles. One of the systems, called InfoTrack, is useful to Larry because it has databases that include general periodicals, newspapers, and government documents. Larry finds some citations in all three of these databases. Since he's never used government documents before, Larry starts by asking the librarian how to find the citations on his government documents list. He then finds them and puts them with the books he will check out later. Larry is eager to begin looking at the articles he's found in the databases, but he wants to be sure they are actually in the library before he goes looking for them. The library has a list of its periodicals called the Fenwick Library Periodicals Holdings List. It indicates the years of each periodical that the library owns and whether the periodical is on paper or microform. After Larry has checked the list for all of his periodical titles, the librarian directs him to the periodical service desk at the other end of the building. He can ask for more help there. In the periodicals reading room, Larry finds the bound issues of journals arranged alphabetically by title. He is also shown the microform cabinets and the machines for viewing and printing from microform. While looking through journals on microfilm, Larry finds an article about the 1972 presidential campaign including information about President Nixon's use of the media. It occurs to Larry that, since his paper is on television and politics, he can make it more interesting by including an audiovisual segment. The reference librarian explains that Larry will find videos in the AV department on the second floor and suggests that Larry check in special collections and archives for more material. Using Ex Libris, Larry locates a video cassette that looks interesting, historical political commercials from 1960 to 1980. To view the video cassette, Larry checks it out in the AV area and views it on equipment there. Again, Larry finds President Nixon among the prominent users of television and political campaigns. Larry then searches through the material in special collections and archives. In this department, you can find on reserve at the reserve desk near the circulation desk. These reserve items are available for limited material with which to work. He has to go through one last step checking out his books and government documents. Larry gives the circulation desk attendant his student ID card, which serves as his library card. Every semester the card must be updated for use in the library, and that can be done at the circulation desk as you check out circulating material. The attendant checks out the books to Larry by using an automated circulation system, and Larry leaves to complete his project. This has been a quick introduction to much of what we have to offer at Fenwick Library, but we hope you'll keep in mind what you can find in Ex Libris, in the stacks, in the reference room, in periodicals, in government documents, the audiovisual collection, and in special collections. Remember, it really doesn't matter how much material we store in the library or how much trouble we go to in keeping things up to date and easy to use if you don't feel comfortable actually coming in and using the library. There's information here on literally any topic you want to know about. And if you can't find it by yourself, there's a librarian willing to help you. Come on in and see what Fenwick Library has to offer.